welcome to the Naura Now. <laughs> I've had such a good stay here at B Ocean Crew and wow, I'm really gonna miss them. But it is time to move on to a new spot. And today I'm going to Danau Ranau, a big, big lake that is supposed to be really beautiful. One hour and 34 minutes to get there, a total of 55 kilometers. And it's gonna be a beautiful day. So let's go and check out Danau Ranau. Small snack stop. I did not eat enough today and if there's one thing that's important in this heat it's getting enough food it is a I don't even know what day it is well it doesn't matter so I am getting quite a lot faster with packing all of my luggage this morning only took like an hour to get everything packed together I really love these endurance stand bikes they're so rocket and my box here for safety from Shad Massive shout out. It really, really is beautiful driving here inside of Bukit Bari San Selatan again. But dang, the roads are pretty rough. There we go again. Hati hati ada longsor. Apartinya longsor. What does longsor mean? Let me know in the comment, guys, because I have no idea. Wow, look at that mosque. Wow, it's beautiful. That's the thing I love about Sumatra. They have so many of these like monuments in the middle of the roads in the smaller cities. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on, Taranga, let's climb. Don't like gravel. Yeah, easy for the KTM 390 Adventure. Bring us a real challenge. Okay, I might just get what I've asked for, looks like. Oh, shit. Woo. This is not a road. What is this? Oh, I asked for a challenge. It seems like I might get one. And, uh, paving the road. All right. That's enough gravel for me. Let's go. 50 minutes left. Still a lot. Gaspol. So now, whenever I say Gaspol, I keep thinking about Herman from Monkey Work Garage. That was one of the last things he said in my video there. Gaspol. Gaspol. Bro, Herman, if you're watching this, miss your brother. I look forward to seeing you at MWG in Jakarta. One of the goals for this big Sabang Sabang Maroke trip is to visit as many regencies as I can here in Indonesia. And of course I've already been to Java, but that doesn't count because we started from Lampung. Lampung was my first province and today I'm heading into my second South Sumatra. So I'm heading to the border now between Lampung and South Sumatra. My god, I am lucky to be here. Uh, I think my GPS might have taken me a little bit off course. I don't even know if we can turn down here. If we can't, then it's gonna be a long way back. Oi! Mafia! Okay, here we go. Mod hole. Oh well, this was a bad idea. How do I get out of it? This might take a while. Well, here is two dumb ideas. The, oh shit, what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bringing a very heavy bike in here. Not the best idea. We did get a little stuck, but I think we're gonna make it. Oh, look how beautiful it is here. Let's just try and go out here. Oh, check this out, guys. Wow, this detour turned out to be quite a beautiful spot. I have massive mountain here in front of me. 
not even sure what the name is. I'll have to look that up on the maps. And the farmers over there going around in the field with an old plow. Uh, I so wanted to go to them, but that means I would have to park right over there next to the big road with all my stuff. I can't do that. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I promise you, in one of my episodes, I will be on a plow like that. I want to try it for myself. I, I should make a farming episode. Christian try Indonesian farming. Yeah. All right, Terus, we are almost at the border between Lampung and South Sumatra. Let's go. Gasoline stop. Okay. Apa namanya gunung? Gunung Seminung. Gunung Seminung. Wow. Cantik ya? Iya. Iya. Nine liters, ninety-three thousand. All right, guys. In about ten seconds, I should be in South Sumatra. You see, that is the monument. I'm now in Lampung, and I'm driving into South Sumatra. Yee! Now I only got thirty-two left. Nice. Woo. A lot of cows here. Oh, guys, check this out. I have made it to... Danau Ranau. My God, it's beautiful. Oh, Jesus Christmas. You got a beautiful lake. You got rice fields and a mountain. This is the single most beautiful country in the world, and this proves it. Wow, I cannot wait to show this to my family. The roads around Danau Ranau is a rider's paradise. Up, down, small turns, and around every corner there's a new beautiful view over the mighty lake. process of building. Let's just hope they finish building my room. All right, so I just met the owner and he wanted me to park another place because I asked about security if we could lock the gate and he said can but it seems he wanted me to park here. I hope I can park next to the villas. That would be sick. Ah, Amazing. Luar biasa. Ah, see, this is good. Doesn't get much closer to my things. Wow, pool and everything. Look at this. All right, guys. So I just put my things in the room, and this is the view I have over the lake. It's so beautiful here. It seems like they're still doing some work, making some extra rooms, which is totally okay. And my room. It's right over there. So in the morning, I can go on the balcony and enjoy this view. I think it's gonna be some good days. I brought my stuff into the room and let me quickly give you a little tour. Oh, this is the room, guys. Just wanted to quickly show you before I mess it all up. Small kitchen, small closet here for my stuff and a small bathroom, quite small, but it'll work. European toilets. What up? The view is definitely the best thing. So upstairs I have a small extra room. Won't be needing that with an extra bed. There is air condition. Yeah, that's fantastic. There's a TV, not gonna be using that. And even on the TV here, you can see it's actually not really clean the room, but it'll work because I can wake up with this view in the morning. So here I will be having my morning coffee tomorrow before jet skiing. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow morning for jet skiing. Good night. Sometimes it's difficult to understand just how beautiful these places really are until you get the drone in the air. The dinner was decent and I knew what to expect. 
Nasi and I'm goreng, but that's always a winner. And for dessert, editing trus. Good morning, guys. It is seven o'clock here at Tanawara now. I just woke up and this is the beautiful view I have here when opening the doors to my room. So they just brought in some breakfast, just some fried rice with some egg and some tea. Some of you may know about the situation that's going on in Ukraine with Russia invading. And yeah, I spent a lot of time this morning reading about the situation and it's just, it's terrifying what it can lead to. So that's a lot on my mind today. So, but not really anything I can do, but still worrying. And I pray for the Ukrainian people and for the rest of Europe. So I actually had a really nice first day here at Water Park in that slept really well. It's so nice that you can hear the waves from the lake here coming in under these small cottages. But I will say this is the first time where I woke up and I was freezing. It's actually quite cold here by the river. So today I'm wearing uh, a shirt, a t-shirt and long trousers. That's definitely a first, but it seems like I'm gonna get more and more used to this as I start to drive more into the mountains. But you know what? I kind of like it. Traveling alone has its pros and cons. Sometimes I feel like I'm alone in a boat, far from land and from people. There's people around me, but you can still feel alone, even when in a crowd. I tell myself it's okay and that it's a part of my journey. I do believe that it's an important skill to master, you know, being able to function and be happy in your own company. Like any morning, I go to check on Turanga. Unfortunately, while she had been sleeping, someone had used her as a toilet. Well, shit happens. I'm still getting used to being the pale foreigner wherever I go. It draws a lot of attention, and especially on these parts. But to my luck, I've yet to have any bad experiences, as everyone I meet is interested in getting to know me. And I tell myself that I'm lucky, because wherever I go here in Indonesia, all I meet is good people. Jalan 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 jalan. Nanti pulang ke Palembang lagi. Ah, kira-kira tanggal 30. Pulang ke Aceh, Banda Aceh. Tiga minggu ya. Jadi Banda Aceh, langsung naik feri, langsung ke Sabang. Ya, ke Sabang. Ke sana. Ya. Karena di Sabang itu kan banyak orang bulik ya. Orang orang luar banyak. Oh, di Aceh. Di Aceh. Di Sabang. 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 Ya, ya. Mm -hmm. okay, well, <laughs> yeah. Makasih. Yeah. Boleh, boleh. So we're gonna go out on the jet skis here on the lake, Thank and let's you. see how it goes. Sami, Sami, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, guys, there's a lot of waves out here. Woo! If you come to Tanawara now, I would highly recommend you to try these because it's a lot of fun. So now we're just hanging out a bit. Kopi dulu ya. Kopi, kopi. And if you're a bit of a daredevil, the banana boat looked a lot of fun too. That's gonna be it from Tanawara now and today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Terima kasih banyak. Always TTDJ, and this is what you can expect in the next episode of Sabang Sampai Merauke. I fear a little bit for my choice today about trying to drive 200 kilometers in the mountains. If I drive too close to that edge, drop. Wow, this is dangerous. I don't want to go in that hole. I am proper in between the mountains.